in this video i'm going to explain how you can use um, multiple offsets on a cnc lathe um, normally on a cnc lathe the tool number is a four digit number if you look at this tool here you see this is tool four which is a four millimeter wide grooving tool and the first two digits the first zero four tells the machine to index so that will index to tool four the turret will rotate to tool four and the second two tell it to pick up the offset for tool four so it looks into my offset file here so it looks at the geometry for tool four picks that up and then applies that so that's how that tool four it picks up the uh, it indexes picks up the offset so let's run this program from the beginning and I'm going to bring this tool in to a position. So I'm three millimeters in front of the job and I'm taking, starting my spindle and I'm moving it down to Z minus 12. Now, because this offset's taken from the front of the tool, the front of the tool is 12 millimeters away from the front of the component. Let's just look at the position here. It says there Z minus 12. If I go into my, um, jog mode and just jog this back a bit just to show you where it is so that is you can see that's z0 there and then it's gone back here to z minus 12 so it's 12 millimeter using the front edge of the tool so i'm at z minus 12 i'm going to feed in cut a groove and then move back out again. What I've done now is I'm going to call out tool four, but because it's got TO412, it's actually going to pick out offset 12. And what I've done, if we go into the offset file, so on tool four, this is my offset. What I'm going to do is put exactly the same offset into 12. So effectively now, if I call TO404 or I call TO412, it would effectively go to the same position. But I don't want to do that. What I actually want to do is use the front of the tool the first time and the second time I want to use the back of the tool, which means I can program this groove, uh, this groove exactly the same as I would see it on the drawing. And you'll see in a minute that I've got a much better way of adjusting it so if i add my grooving tool is four millimeters um in width so if i put in here minus four point and i say um input plus gives me the answer i'm going to say execute so now in my tool 12 i've actually got four mil more on the offset so it will actually be using the back of the tool instead of the front of the tool now it's important when you do this that you repeat everything else for example your radius of your tool if you are using any kind of compensation to put a rad on or anything like that or a chamfer, you will need to have the radius of the tool in both 4 and 12 and obviously they will be the same now your virtual nose position will be a 3 in offset 4 because it's a normal right hand tool and then in offset 12 it will be a four because it's now a left hand tool because it's working on the opposite side. Now, this doesn't matter if you're not using any compensation or anything to put chamfers on and things like that. But if you are, it's important that this part is repeated. So what's going to happen now is when I actually call this out to do to move and use the other offset. So if we go back into my program, you'll see that it's now calling out tool four and offset 12. Now, word of caution here. this is an index move so it's going to index to tool four but it's already there now the common mistake that people make is that later on they bring this program out again the tools in a different station and they forget to alter the second time the tools called out and that would be an index move so you would have a collision so if you're worried about that then what you can do is at this point you could send the tool back to home 
do the index and then bring it back again, which would be a wasted move, but it wouldn't be a wasted move had you made a mistake. So what it's going to do now, it's going to go to Z minus six, but it's using my new offset now, which is four millimeters different to the off other offset. Let's let it just do that. So it's grooved that and it comes back out. Now, if I now go into my jog and look at my position, you'll see that it says that I'm at minus six. If I jog this up to the front of the job, you'll see that now the zero is there. Can you see where it is? I can't get it exactly on zero, but you can see that the, the back of the tool is now six millimeters from the front of the job. So what that means is it enables me to program this, this groove. Otherwise, when I come to this position, instead of putting the distance from the front of the part, I would have had to have added on the amount of the grooving tool, the width of the grooving tool, which would be a problem because, as you can see now, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to reset this and just um, uh, move my machine back. And I'm going to actually measure what this groove is I'm going to measure from the front of the component to the back of this groove and it actually measures 5.936 so that means it's 0.064 undersize so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my offsets and I'm going to go to this offset 12 and in the where I'm going to put in there minus 0.0 six four in there and that's going to effectively move the tool down by 0.064 now i'm not interested in the other side um, but that is actually going to tell me that this is the correct distance from the front of the job so what i can do with the other side if i adjust the other side if i measure from this face here to the front of the job It's giving me a position of 11.936. And um, that means that is actually 0.064 out as well. So I need to go 0.064. But this time I'm going to do this on offset four because offset four is the one that's controlling this part. So I'm going to go minus 0.064. Input. So what I've effectively done now is move one offset that way, one offset that way, and that means that the final figures should now be correct. The point I'm trying to make is that for you, um, when you come to run this, you're adjusting the two sides of the tool independently. So this means that once you've got this right, um, you don't have to fiddle with the program because you would have to actually program it wrong because if the width of the tool isn't what you expect it to be, you're actually allowing for this in your program. So you've got to keep tinkering with your program. And every time you drag this program out, you're going to have to do the same thing. So it's giving me bang on 12 now. But don't forget, this isn't a real machine. This is a virtual machine. And virtual machines do exactly what you tell them to do. So this, this is going to uh, have adjusted by exactly the right amount. But you can see what I'm getting at here. I'm adjusting it independently. So that's how you use two offsets. And I'm coming back to the program now. Let's have another look at the program. So in my program, I'm calling out the tool index with the correct offset and moving to a position of Z minus 12, which is the distance from the front of the job to the back of the groove. Then I'm actually grooving it. This could be a lot more complex than this. And then I'm doing my calling out my other offset. But don't forget, I'm right over the job here. Now I'm taking a risk and that's my choice. I would recommend that you move back to zero before you do this index because that's the safest thing to do. So then move into minus six. So this is the, the back of the tool is going to be six mil from the front of the component and grooving again. And that will give you, um, you know, an easy way to program. You should never have to touch the program. All you should ever need to do is adjust these offsets to get you the right thing. So quick points, 
The second time you call the offset, send it back to zero just in case, in case you forget one day and you index over the job. Um, and with your offsets, you must uh, repeat the offset for the second time. So whatever you've got in the geometry for tool four, you need to repeat in 12 if that's the offset you're going to use. And then all you do there in this line is just add on the width. Well, you want to minus the amount of that tool so that it goes more minus by four mil. That's your starting point. You'll have to adjust that. And you need your radius and your, your, your virtual nose position. So you put all those in there and then you can adjust these independently. Don't forget you adjust it on the wear. We're not adjusting it on the main geometry. We're adjusting it on the wear. But we've got two separate things. Now, the X's should stay the same. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have any variation in the X's because they're coming to the same place. But the Z's will vary.